name Marley is iconic to the entire world. And on Friday 420, the documentary Marley opens in theaters and on Facebook. It's an intimate look at the legend Bob Marley and his family. And we are truly honored to have five-time Grammy-winning musician, actor, artist, activist, humanitarian, and music legend himself, Ziggy Marley. Welcome to What's Trending. It is more than great to have you here, our whole staff. Our whole team has been waiting anxiously for you to get here to the studio. Nice. <laughs> so you're an executive producer on this project, yes. which has been years in the making. Mm -hmm. Now, why did your family give you the blessing, and how long did that take to get the blessing from your family to finally put this together and bring it to the public? When, when the idea came up, I told the family about it, that, you know, um, we have this opportunity to, you know, do something definitive on Bob. And everyone was cool with that. Um, usually, if, if I bring an idea, them know it's thought through and it's, you know, it's a positive thing. I don't, I don't just do <laughs> like stupidness, you know. So them, they trust me. They trust yeah, you. They trust me. You don't come to them with any crazy no, ideas. No, just straight up positive things. How do you want people to leave feeling once they see this documentary? Feel close to Bob, you know, mm -hmm. feel closer. Um, feel, have a better understanding, have a better emotional connection to Bob, loving Bob more. And um, just, yeah, emotional connection. This is what I want. I want them to have an emotional connection to Bob now, like I do. Mm -hmm. I want them to feel as much as they can from this film what I feel. Maybe they can't feel as much as I do, but close enough. Your dad was very into politics. What do you think he would think of the U.S. political climate right now? Oh, I can't tell you what I think. I Go <laughs> for it. It's, we're open. The floor is open. I don't know what he would think. I mean, he's not into politics. I mean, he grew up in, in Jamaica. There was a lot of political strife going on, a lot of mm. violence. I think he would be happy about um, you know, Barack Obama being the first African descendant to be a, 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 a president of the United States who's had such a history of slavery and racism. You know, it's kind of, it's a great thing. I don't know what he would think otherwise. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I think, you know, I tell you what I think because I think that, that me and him kind of have some similar thoughts about things. Yes. And I, you know, so I can speak for myself on that and tell you maybe he would think that what I think. Um, there's so much division and divisiveness that is deliberate because the only way you can trick people and rule people and, f and fool people is by dividing them so that no matter even if there's that tr even if something is true if you can divide people not to see that truth and to have their own concept of what it is easily to control people that way so in america right now the politics is so divisive and it's just a way of controlling and ruling people it's it's an old tactic divide and rule. It's a very old tactic that has been used for centuries and is still used right now. How do we bring people together then? Well, well, the only way to bring people together is through music. You know. Music is the only truth. You know, politics and, and, and a lot of this, what's happening in the news and these things, are all there to divide because everybody, music is the only thing that, ha that has no ulterior motive but for people to come to. We don't, what's our motive? Just make, make people enjoy music. We don't, we're, not, we're not pushing anything. We're not, we're not trying to rule anybody. We just want people to enjoy music. Um, so, you know, music. Music is what brings people together. Politics is what divides people. You know. You've also come, you know, into supporting, obviously, marijuana laws in California. Tell me about... More than marijuana laws, though. Um, Tell me about that. I try to get this story straight because obviously when people hear that Ziggy is, is, is into this thing, them all, it always goes straight to marijuana. Mm -hmm. Marijuana is one aspect. What I'm supporting is the freedom of the plant in all, all aspects. The hemp, the use of hemp. Um, hemp is in the family of the cannabis plant, as, just like marijuana. The hemp side of it can be used for all different type of things, clothing, um, the seeds are nutritious, building materials. There's a medicinal aspect to it. Yeah. And there's recreational use for it, you know. In my culture, we don't drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. So 
if we want to chill, you know, if, if I can't go, I can go get a beer at the pub after, <laughs> or hey, give me a glass of wine or some champagne. <laughs> yeah, like you don't do that. I don't do that. You know, <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? little bubbly. <laughs> yeah, you know, so we, you know, that's our culture. So you know, you can't fight us. You do your, what you do. And we do what we do. Why are you fighting us? You know. Definitely. Now you're distributing this movie also on Facebook at the same time, simultaneously, which is very, you know, it's innovative because yeah. typically it's all about being in the theaters. Yeah. What went into that decision? Well, I think what went into that decision was that firstly, this is a documentary. Mm -hmm. So within the movie world or the movie business world, it's much harder to get documentaries in, in a lot of theaters. That's the first thing. The second thing is that to give um, people as much access as possible, it, it's good to give them a wide, a wide, um, different, um, different avenues where they could go see the film. Yeah. Um, Bob's Facebook is is what 37, 38 million people. So if we can get those people to 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 not stress about seeing it by those, hey, I'm on the Facebook, let me just watch it on Facebook. Yeah. They could do that. And if you watch it on Facebook, some of the proceeds go to save the children, which is an added, added benefit of that. So I think we're just trying to you know, be ahead of the game and, 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 and get people engaged. Some of them, you know, the kids know, I watch movies on my computer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I don't want, I can't bother to go to the theater or whatever. So, you know, the new generation of kids, it's all about, the computer and stuff, so we want to engage them too. Would Bob have been into social media? Um, I don't know. I don't think. I think no. Or how is digital changing the so. way you engage with fans so. with your music now? Well, I'm much. I mean, I got into it a few years ago. I'm just, you know, I engage people just as just as a, it's not about music. It's just a, I just talk to people. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not about selling selling the records. It's just about communicating and meeting people and you know feeling that camaraderie. And if I have an idea, I can put it out out there and see how much people might think the same or maybe somebody put something out and say I never thought about that. Or I didn't know that. It's just a way for communicate for me. It's not it's not a marketing tool. It's a way for communicate with other people over the world. And I like I like doing that. I like doing that. Well, Ziggy. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Yeah, it was you. fabulous. You are a ray of light, my friend. Nice. So thank, it was so great much. seeing yeah, you. Man. Once again, follow him on Twitter, at Ziggy Marley. The film Marley opens in theaters and on Facebook this Friday on April 20th, 420. Thank you so much for coming today. All right.